There's a popular opinion that foreign-made furnitures are better than the local ones. Is that really true? Well, it depends, really. Pound for pound, the locally-made furnitures are actually at par when you really look at it closely. But since the foreign-made ones have this branding attached to them, and then our local producers or furniture makers are not exactly supported financially, economically, and all whatnot, they tend to surge ahead, move forward with regards to the market. And then there's the popular thing with regards to advertising. You go somewhere, you go visit some people, and they tell you, ah, my furniture was made in Italy, or my furniture was imported from Rome, as opposed to my furniture was made, say, in Yaba, or made somewhere in Mushi. There's the swag that comes with having a foreign made or an imported set of furniture in your place or in your house. But when you really sit down and consider the quality and the craftsmanship that goes into producing these things, we discover that quite a number of times, those that even sell their furniture in showrooms and give you the impression that those things have been imported, do not really tell you the entire truth. Everything is packaged. Most of the time, they have their own back-end workshops where diligent and industrious craftsmen produce these products. Then they take them to well-lighted showrooms, showcase them. And then when you come, because when you see good work, as they say, you can't but accept it. There's no argument with that street. My name is uh, Collins the Royal Dynamic Home Accessories. I've been in business for, for the past uh, 18 years now. I'm there to do important because I know that maybe that will fetch me more money than me. Yeah, there is a bit, there is, there is much different. In the sense that the important, you can see the way they look, but they look more, more, you know, more beautiful than the local one. Because they, let, let me say that, they do it, I mean, they, it's more beautiful and more expensive. And the local. Yeah, yeah Nigeria can, can even make more than can even do more than this. Okay. Nigeria can do more than this. But it's not that our 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 governments are not, you know, they are not they are not in support of uh, what we are doing. Let me put it that way. If our government can do can treat, I mean, give us what we what we require to, Nigeria can do more than this. You understand? Because Chinese is no more better than us. You understand? We are more creative. We are more. We even have the material more than Chinese. You understand me? Uh-huh. Most Chinese, uh, the Chinese, they take their, their wood from Nigeria here. They take it over there and now polish it. You understand me? And bring it back to us. You understand? Then here, we have the best wood in the world. I'm, I'm sure of that. You understand? So, that, so if like, our government can support us, give us what we need, you understand? Then we can do better than even Italian. You understand? Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Donald Apucci. Uh, really, uh... 20 something years. It's 22, 23 now. Uh, to me, uh, this is no. To me, it's not true. Mm, to me, it's not true. Mm. The only difference we, I can say we have here, maybe, you know, over there, we have the equipment. We have things to do the job with. But here, majorly here, we use manual, our own our manual. The production of chia does not proceed more than wood. The cloth, the foam. Mm, just the. The machines and other things to put it together to get a good finish. There's no other thing they use for a chair. There are part of these three things I got for you. We have to do a skeleton which we do here and here we have a raw wood. I don't I just said maybe they are all not good. But the only thing they do, they are more than us is finishing points. Because they have the facilities, they have the juice, they have the environment, you know, and the support. Unlike us here, so we are all our own here is majorly manual. Manual, and we are trying over it. When you come to their showrooms and you see these products, and they tell you that these products were imported, say made in Italy, you accept, and then they place very high price tags on them. You pay, walk down the street, and there's Adamu who has. The regular looking and um, capital shed, for instance. Meanwhile, Adamo is the same person that these showrooms, our own local showrooms, employ in their back end workshops to produce the same set of furnitures. <laughs> Welcome, 
But of course, Adamo has to set up shop for himself one way or the other. So he can't afford to have the well-lighted showrooms or the well-prepared presentations. Walk down the street, you meet Adamo. He has same looking type of furniture, properly placed by the side of the road or underneath his shed. And his prices are very affordable. But since Adamu is not, say, XYZ furniture company, and his prices are not very high, you poo poo his handwork or his products, and you say that they are local, they are cheap, they are poorly made. Not really so. Not really so at all. And then there's the issue of financing. It takes a great deal with regards to raw materials and having the right type of implements for you to produce good craftsmanship, excellent craftsmanship. How many of our very talented and very skilled craftsmen can afford to buy these equipments? How many? How many of them can afford to pay for the space that is necessary for them to set up shop? How many? Uh, I would like, okay, let me start from... Okay, you can see now. You are interviewing me here. There is no light. You understand me? Let me start from there. No one, I don't think that one would like to bring a big company here and they start running diesel every day. You understand me? Because of the cost of diesel. Uh, so, if, like, if let's start from the from the, the, the uh, uh, um, power first. Let them do the power. If there are a constant light, then people can, someone like me, I would prefer to go to China and bring something down here and, uh, you know, start manufacturing. Bring machinery from China and come. I, but if I went, if I said, okay, let me go and let me do it, there's no how I will run the company. It will not grow. You understand me? Because of the cost of uh, um, what they call it, uh, diesel and all that. Uh, so that, honestly, I must be honest with you, it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. We are just managing. We are just managing it. Because most time I have my just here is just an outlet. Okay. You understand? Okay. My head office is under the lab yeah. That's my head, head office, yes. Okay. So bringing things from head office to this place, I know how much it costs me mm. every day. Mm. To bring uh, market from there to this side now, I know how much I spend. You understand? So it's not easy at all. You know, this fuel, uh, fuel this high risk of fuel is affecting us seriously. Uh, really, you know the economy, the Nigeria we are, uh, although then furniture issue, furniture business was so so calm and so easy to compare now. Things are flying, prices of things are flying. Like when we started here, we can use, uh, let me say then, 10,000, 12,000 to produce a set of shoes. Mm. But as of now, although as years go, it continues increasing. As of today now, we are talking of 250, 300, 400,000 before you can produce a set of chips, a good one, you know, which we do then like 20, 18,000. So that is how we experience it. In finance, our banking industries, institutions, rather than focus on making sure that these people are empowered to be able to set up shop and to hone their skills, are instead doing what? Engaging in acts that are geared towards sabotaging the economy eventually. No form of export is being encouraged. No form of local production is being encouraged. Dependency instead is channeled with regards to consuming, buying things that we can practically produce ourselves at exorbitant prices. This is what I what I what I know how to do. I decided to go to the one I know how to do best. I don't want to put my hand here and put there at the same time. You understand? This is the one I know how to do. That's that just it. Like I said earlier, zero year dynamic home accessories. We are we are into furniture and electronics. Understand me? We are by the grace of God, we are we are trying our best. Understand? 
We're still down in Tabool, Centre Tabool, um, office, furnitures, anything office. We are into office big time. We sell office furnitures. We do um, home and uh, uh, like dining table, center table, uh, anything furnitures anyway. So if you ask me the question again, foreign produced furniture, locally produced furniture, which is better? My answer remains the same. It depends. It depends on your state of mind. It depends on what you really want. Do you want? to have that phrase attached to you that ah you went all out for that stuff and then you end up with most of the time poor quality stuff or are you interested in building what it is that will not only look beautiful but will last as far as beauty is concerned as far as durability is concerned our craftsmen are more than up to the task all they wear 